I know, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. That whole soul devolution thing, that, that experience that some, some a bunch of us heard on the Claire Plain song, I think it was in January, yeah, it really set me back. I, you know, for me it's a bit too solemn. It's too solemn for my energy signature. <laughs> it reminds me of that, um, that music that goes, um, Da 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 That kind of a, a feeling, you know, where oh my gosh, look out! This is this is certainly no um, this is no chamber music, <laughs> or that other one they called Dies Ire Dies Ila, Days of Ire, Days of Wrath. Is how does that how it goes? And it went something like this. Dies Ire I think they played that during the time of the Black Plague. That's what it reminds me of. So, most souls, though, most souls evolve. They don't devolve. They continue onward towards the path of ever greater alignment with the Divine. And so, here's the song another Latin song that I always felt to be the antidote to the Dies Irae song. And this antidote song is a song of praise of Christ's loving uh, consciousness uh, to the heart of Christ it's sung. And it speaks of uh, in Latin of what a delight and what a sacred space it, that that feeling that Christ consciousness creates, and how it how it makes a safe place for everyone. And uh, I hope I can sing it all right, well enough to where you can feel it like I feel it. Cor Jesu. Salus in te sperantium, miserere in ovis. Cor Jesu, salus in te sperantium, miserere Say.